Hello, hello, and welcome to another video. And in this one, I am swatching out most of my Gansai Tambi collection, which I have a whole heap uh, of lovely paints. I really love these ones. I do have one other thing. It's the Gansai Tambi travel set um, that I got for Christmas that I will link my little Christmas haul and swatching video here um, up somewhere around. Uh, so you can see that one, but this is the rest of them that I have with my lovely uh, watercolor collection. Um, so I have two 24 sets. I believe I have set one and set two. And I have two of their special sets with the six um, paints. And I am also using these brushes I brought secondhand. They're very good quality. I believe they're Chinese calligraphy brushes. Um, they are slightly damaged here, uh, in this one in particular at the top, but other than that, it's, uh, perfect, it works really well, I really adore this brush, um, and I want to make it clear, Gaon Saitambi is a Japanese product, and these paint brushes are Chinese, I am not conflating these, I know that there are similarities, um, but the cultures are very different, I decided it'd be nice to use them together, um, but I want to make it very clear, East Asia is not a monolith. There is a whole heap of different cultures, even inside a single country. Um, and I think that's important to make note of. But I am swatching here on 100% cotton paper, which is really, really nice. I'm going to keep these cards with the paint so that I can look back to them when I'm starting to use them more. Um, which should be really good. I do really like these. I think the Gansai Tambi watercolor paint is just stunning. And I've used them, this particular set, a little over the years. Uh, I think I got it in 2018. Uh, so I've had this one for a little while. And yeah, no, I just do really, really adore these. Which is why I have got a, the second set, which, the second 24 set I should say, which is completely different colours. There are no overlaps, which is really, really nice. And uh, it allows me to have a wide range of things, though I haven't swatched any of those out. So it's brand new for me to see the other paints. Um, but these ones are definitely staying. I'm not getting rid of any of these. Uh, if you watch my last video, you know I'm going through my collection. Uh, but this, these are all staying. These are just swatching for practicality purposes. Uh, it has a very, very nice array of different colours. A lot, a lot of greens. Uh, which does make sense as sceneries seem to be quite common. Uh, with Japanese style paintings um, and a lot of blues, which I think is very, very fun. I have been enjoying landscapes a lot myself lately, um, though I like a bit of everything, and there are some really lovely mixes that could be made with these colours, so I'll definitely play around more with that, uh, if that's something anyone is interested in seeing. Let me know, and I will mess around with some mixes. Um, putting some of this paint on a palette so I can mix it up uh, before painting it, just to mess around with it and to play with it. Um, but as you can see, Gansai Tambi paint goes down really, really well. Um, and on 100% cotton paper, it works an absolute treat. There's so much movement that can be had. It stays wet for a really long time. Um, and thanks to the magic of editing, I was able to instantly flip this piece of paper over so I could keep going. Uh, but in real time, I had to wait quite some time for it to dry uh, so that it didn't just spill all the watercolor onto the mat below. Um, and now I am swatching out the white there. Not very practical, you can't see it very well. But it still does. Now, there's a little bit of cauliflowering, which might be user error. Maybe I used too much water. But I actually 
kind of like that cauliflower blooming effect uh, in places. I think it looks really cool. Um, now to my understanding, this paint is quite granulating in a lot of the colours, which is really nice. Um, when I was younger, I used to think that when paint was granulating, there was something wrong with it. I have since learned, and I've come to appreciate it. Um, so I'm very excited to use these in products. But this is, yeah, the original 24 set. Um, and it's absolutely fantastic. It does come with a swatch card on the inside, but those boxes are so tiny. I want, like, a nice big array of swatches, um, so that I can have that. Um, but this is the second 24 set. I, to my understanding, they are just called, like, set one and set two. I don't think they have a name specifically. I can't see it. Uh, on the packaging or online, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, I would love to know. Um, but the other set is full of very bright colours, so in my head that's the bright set, where this is full of a lot more pastel subdued tones, uh, very art deco, art deco, sorry, art nouveau palette, uh, but I think I'm influenced by the picture that was on the design. Uh, so. That might be where my head is at. Um, this colour that I'm swatching now is a very standout colour compared to the rest. That one is significantly brighter than everything else. Everything else is a lot more subdued or pastel, uh, which is really, really lovely. I would use this. I If I had got this set first, I probably would have struggled to use it, but it'll be great to use in con junction to the other set. I am a lot more of like a bright person. Uh, I like bright things, colourful things. Um, I mean this is colourful. They're all colourful. It's just different kinds of colour. Uh, but I find it easier to work with brights. You add a bit more water and or even a bit of white if you want. You can dull it down. But it is hard to make something that is subdued brighter. At least in my experience. Uh, but no, I do really love this set. And I am happy to have it. I am glad that I finally opened it and swatching it out. And I can't wait to use all the paints together uh, to create some amazing artwork. And I'm starting a collection of nicer watercolour paper to actually practice on. And work on different techniques and textures, um, letting the paint do its thing, um, but yeah, so it's a really, really lovely, uh, colour set, there are some absolutely stunning colours there, again, I really love how they bloom and granulate, I love it when my paint looks like paint, I've mentioned it before, but if you haven't seen any of my videos, I enjoy messy paintings. I think it is just so much fun. Um, and that's not just like the painting process itself is messy. I like it when my paints look messy and a bit chaotic. Uh, it's very much a me thing. Um, but along with my collection, I also have the opal set. Um, I do have the starry colour set, but starting with the opal set, I imagine this looks a lot better on black paper, which I will test out in the future and probably keep alongside this one. Uh, but I don't have any black watercolour paper at the moment, and so I'm going to try and get some of that. So I can put this on there and actually see how it all looks. Um... The same with the Starry Colour palette, though this one does come out better on um, white paper. I wanted to say gold paper. No, the paint is gold. Um, and it, it's a little, like, there's not a lot to it when it's still wet, but when it dries, it's kind of amazing. Uh, 
Actually, it's definitely, I, I love it dry. Uh, kind of like the metallic paints from my last watercolour video. Uh, but these are all gold, obviously. But they're really nice. And if I'm ever in the mood, I could use all of them together. Uh, but I do find the colour names to these quite interesting. Um, as you can see, the paint and water has all that. I think it's like a mica. Uh, but I'm not sure. And I love how it gets all swirly. And it looks like a magic potion. Uh, but definitely don't drink it. Uh, it's, I don't imagine it's good for you. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning when it's dry. It gets such a nice effect. Uh, the gold looks so, so, so good. I'm particularly drawn to the red gold and yellow gold. Probably because they're the brightest. Um, but as you can see, there's a bit of an effect from the opal colours on the white paper. It'll be a good hint over the top. Uh, but it'd probably be a lot more standout on black paper. I just don't have any black watercolour paper at the moment. So we'll put a pin in that. Um, but yeah, so that is my Bonsai Tambi collection um, so far. I imagine I will keep picking up bits and pieces as I go because I do really like this paint but I'm going to start using it a lot more um, and these brushes are really nice. I wish I could say the brand name but unfortunately it is not in English and I am not 100% sure what it is. Um, so please let me know if you know. Um, but yeah, that's all for this video. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.